I think in a greater scheme of things, this comes down to the new opportunities to, that come about from something we call computational neurology. It's the new continuous sensor data that we're able to now collect over long periods of time, along with the opportunities that arise from machine learning, deep learning. Uh, and that will give us hopefully a better approach to uh, more objectively and reliably ass assess neurology patients and specifically epilepsy patients. In that particular study, uh, we looked if a video that is recorded can simply or can by itself uh, detect when a generalized tonic-clonic seizure occurs. And that was uh, highly feasible, we thought. Um, the reason for looking into this is apparent. I mean, if you would have such uh, an algorithm, this could um, warn a caregiver during the night when these uh, big grandma seizures occur. And potentially it could then reduce the risk of, uh, of more severe things happening, such as sudden, uh, unex uh, sudden um, unexpected death in epilepsy pseudo. So uh, I think also there is a need to have sort of these automatized uh, approaches that can detect and warn of seizures.